Well, welcome to the Beverly Hills Historical Society big academy screening of Beverly Hills 100 Years, 100 Stories. And we're going to have hundreds of members of our community here today to celebrate our history. And we have the lovely Victoria Gordon, who's going to walk through the line and get sort of the reactions. Now, this is a film that stars the people in our community. The eyewitnesses to our history tell the story of, of this great town. So it's really not my film tonight, it's their film tonight. So Victoria's gonna go and talk to all our stars who play a part in the history of Beverly Hills. This is Natalie Gordon. She is not only an incredibly talented member of the Historical Society board, she is also my sister. Whoa, what a quinky ding. So Natalie, excited to see the film? So excited to see the film, and I'm so excited for my wonderful volunteers. They are here to help tonight. The lovely Jacqueline Cohen, Ben Cohen, and Allegra Malul. Hard workers, workers, volunteers never get enough credit. So these guys deserve all the credit in the world. They're going to do a great job tonight. Yay! Are you excited to be here? Oh, I certainly am. This is something really to look forward to seeing. You know, there are many famous cities in America, but there's only one Beverly Hills. And the thing that makes Beverly Hills so unique is that it has class. It's an extraordinary city to be in, and I'm very honored to be here tonight to see this film. What brought you to Beverly Hills for this movie? Um, when I was growing up, I used to live in Beverly Hills. And I wanted to learn the history because I lost my mother very young. So I wanted to learn about the city, and I love Beverly Hills. So Russ, you're a local. Tell us, what are you most excited about for this movie? Actually, seeing all my friends here. I've That's here really since, good. I've been here since 1960, ever since I was two years old. Oh I've lived here for like 38 years, and I said, I know nothing about Beverly Hills. Oh, wow. You're going to learn a lot tonight, trust me. That I have seen so the film. awesome. It's great to be involved in our city. Uh, our present mayor, Lily Bossy, uh, has the walk every Monday morning, and it's just great. I've been a walker with the Beverly Hills Healthy City Walkers and then also the offshoot group called um, the Beverly Hills Walkie Talkies for over three years. What brought you here tonight? Well, I came to the um, walk with the mayor uh, on Monday and that's how I found about this event. I'm really excited to uh, learn about the history of Beverly Hills. So what are you two most excited about for this film? You know, this is, I think, the only place I know of where we can come and reminisce about our life and our childhood and see these remarkable places and share these amazing memories. So I'm just looking forward to taking a trip back and really enjoying it and being with the community. I was born in California and grew up in Beverly Hills. Yes. And I, uh, am, I went to Beverly High in El Rodeo. She was a cheerleader. Oh my goodness, wow, okay. Yeah, so I was Boys League president. We've got some Normans here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a fellow Norman, so I'm really excited about that. It's nice to be here, uh, having you know, been in Beverly Hills, coached in Beverly Hills. and so What did you coach? I coached uh, soccer, t-ball, Little League, the whole bit. It was, it was great. I'm a local. I went to Beverly High. All my children went to Beverly High. We're Normans. This is Stephanie Lehrer. She was a teacher in the school district for how many years did you teach? 39. 39 years. And she's also a former Beverly student herself. Beverly she's a Norman. Vista. Yeah, she's a local. Yeah. So nice. what brought you here tonight? Well, just that. My home is Beverly Hills, even though I don't live here anymore. My heart and my home is Beverly Hills. And I was lucky enough to have Phil invite me to speak about my experiences in the old days of, uh, of our beautiful town. That was my first grade teacher. I graduated Beverly class of 59. Woohoo! Okay, so we've got another Norman here. Oh, the line is moving here. We'll walk and talk. Um, so tell me, what's your favorite memory of being in Beverly Hills? Blums. Yeah, everyone's got blums. Everyone's saying that. I was not alive to experience that, so I feel like I missed out. <laughs> I grew up on Rexford. See, that's so nice. Everyone can just point to where they grew up. My parents are still there since 1964. Oh, my goodness. So you've been here long enough to have some favorite memories that are things that are no longer here anymore. What's your favorite thing that's not here? My favorite thing? Well, I always say I miss Newberries. We used to be able to go in Newberries and get our first lipstick and, uh, you know, Sundays. So tell me, what is your favorite memory of Beverly Hills? Um, Uncle Bernie's toy yes, menagerie. Blums. 
Oh, yeah, blonde. Blonde. Will Rides. Will Rides. So what is your favorite thing that is no longer here? Dolores's. Dolores's? What was that? Dolores. You don't know what Dolores is? I'm only 23. Yeah. <laughs> Dolores is, uh, was a drive-in. Drive so cool. Into, so in high school, we went there and uh, hung out. No, that's really cool. Yeah, it was very cool. It's a small town. I know a lot of people here. And uh, I think we're trying to retain the small townness of it. Why do I love it? I love the people here. And what keeps you here, then? Convenience, the fire department, the police department, and the people. Hi, from inside the Academy Theater, I'm Victoria Gordon. I'm here with Sherry Tedeschi, who is a member of the Beverly Hills Historical Society Board. So, Sherry, why does Beverly Hills history matter? Well, we grew up here, and, and we have such great history and such wonderful people to talk about in our history. I'm here with a really, really special guy from Beverly Hills history. He is one of the most extraordinary residents of this city, and he also happens to be my dad. I'm your father. I, Last I checked. I didn't, I didn't ever agree to that. Well, we took some DNA tests, so it's official now. I'm sorry. You're doing a great job. Well, thank you. What is your favorite? You've been a resident here for about 25 years. What is your favorite thing about Beverly Hills? The water. The water? I come here for the water, yes. He healing water. Healing water. Is that why everyone is so youthful? People in Beverly High have, have been taking it for years. Mr. Carey's 102 years old. That would be Romeo Carey, the media teacher at Beverly Hills High School. He's here. He's gotten more people into the entertainment industry than anybody. I know he motivates kids really well. I like Romeo Carey. What was the big deal in Beverly Hills when you were the mayor? Hmm. Well, everything was a big deal when I was the mayor. The new, the but, new development. but the wonderful thing that happened while I was the mayor is we have senior sitting housing on Crescent for low cost housing for senior citizens. And that was a real pride. And we developed in lieu parking on Rodeo that allowed all those stores to get taller and expand by paying money to the city and building parking structures. So a lot of fun things were happening. What keeps you in Beverly Hills now? What keeps me in Beverly Hills? What makes you want to live here still? It's, it may be something important to the big wide world, but to me it's home and it always will be. What keeps you in Beverly Hills now? Well, I love this city. It's kind of, uh, I moved in here in 1960. My kids all went to school here. I have the hardware store here on South, uh, on uh, 315 North Crescent Drive. It's the oldest family hardware store. It's the only hardware store left in the city. And my son now runs it and he owns it. So that's one of the things that keeps me here. My law practice is here and I still work in the city. I enjoy working with the people. We have some wonderful, smart people that run the city. We have a great city council, works very hard, and I think the city is in good hands. No interview of Beverly Hills residents would be complete if I did not speak with Rochelle Marcus, who taught in the school district for over 50 years, and is probably, I'm not just saying this, one of the most popular people in this city. So how did you wind up in Beverly Hills? A long time ago, in 1962, I came to visit my aunt and uncle, who lived in Beverly Hills. And I'd gone to school at UCLA, but I went back to Minnesota to finish my degree. I always wanted to come back to California, and I interviewed with a Dave Hazarod at Horace Mann, and he gave me the job, and that was history. I came here in 1963 and started to teach physical education at Horace Mann School. You and all of your siblings went to the Beverly Hills schools. What was that experience like? Um, the only problem was I have an older brother, and sometimes the teachers would say, your brother has no trouble learning this. How about you? The only thing is my handwriting was better, so they like they appreciated that. We are speaking with a very special woman here. She is a longtime resident of the city and a former first lady of Beverly Hills. And guess what? Her son made this film. So this is Rose Norton. So Rose, how long have you lived in Beverly Hills? Over sixty years. Wow. So you sixty years in one house. What does Beverly Hills mean to you? Beverly Hills to me was the small town in this great big giant metropolis where you could go and escape from all the traffic and all the noise and just have a little community in a big city. And it was quite wonderful. You're making me sorry I wasn't here for that. <laughs> okay. All right, we are continuing our tour of former mayors of Beverly Hills. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself for the camera. I'm Marilyn Goldman. I was the seventh woman mayor. I think there have been two or three since then. Our city has a tradition of women mayors, and it's a good thing. 
And of course, the thing that I did that I really am most proud of is we created a water treatment plant. It was talked about for 27 years, and then we built it. And that means we're water safe in any emergency, enough for bathing, enough for drinking. What were the big issues you faced as mayor? Well, uh, health and safety are my number one priorities, and uh, uh, got the paramedics to be have more equipment, uh, the best uh, you can get because they save lives. Uh, got the fire department enlarged, police department enlarged. Uh, height of buildings and mass was a big thing, so I was able to get the standards set and enforced. Now I'm with another former mayor and former first lady of Beverly Hills. This is Ed Brown and Linda Brown. They're local legends, if you will. They are people who got involved at a young age and never really stopped being involved. So when did you both, you, were, you weren't born here, but when did you come to Beverly Hills? I came in 56, 1956. And I started Beverly High. And I came before that. I came when I was in grammar third, school, third grade. third grade, and then from there I went to the high school and I met this beautiful, lovely woman. <laughs> the kind of people that make you believe in love. <laughs> when we're interviewing you at the next screening of this movie in like 10 years and you're off council or maybe you're still on council, what do you want to have accomplished by then? Uh, you know, you know I, I think already actually some of the things that I had hoped to have accomplished really have been accomplished. I mean, one of the things that I spoke about when I was running was really uh, financial sustainability, environmental sustainability for the city. Um, we have approved a, a bicycle lane on Santa Monica Boulevard. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do for financial sustainability was to have an, an auditor position, an internal auditor position, and that has been approved, and we're moving forward on that. You've been on the council for about five months. How's that going? It's going terrific. It's really a pleasure working with the fellow council members, and we think we're doing, making progress with the city. Sounds about right. I mean, I feel like I've seen a lot of progress. I, I agree, and uh, we seem to be very congenial. We're getting things done. We're, we have a couple major projects going on right now, um, both the rent control ordinance and the um, JPA, and we're working very diligently on those. What do you miss the most about Beverly Hills, from something from the past that's no longer here? Blums. Blums. You're not the first person to say that. I've heard that a few times tonight. Blums. Coffee crunch ice cream blums. And uh, there's a couple of things, but Blums is always the one that's stuck. Because I didn't live in Beverly Hills. I grew up in, in Los Angeles, but on the west side. But dates, etc. after dates, Blums. The wait has been long. You've heard all about her from all over, from former mayors, from <laughs> Phil, from everyone. This is the woman everyone wants to talk to tonight. This is Planning Commission Chair Lori Green Gordon. I'm not biased, but she is my mom. Uh, anyway, hello, hello. so what keeps you in Beverly Hills now? This is the greatest place in the world to live. There is no other place like this. This is not only my home, not only the home that I've raised my family in, but it is the home for everybody who really loves the, the quality of life, the elegance. Uh, everybody always talks police, fire, schools, and those are all wonderful, but there's just something about Beverly Hills that has a certain quality that cannot be duplicated in any other uh, community in, in any city I've been in. So I, it's, it's just an exciting place to be, and I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. This is our current mayor, Lily Bossy. What, we decided the ninth or tenth female mayor of Beverly Hills? I believe that was the ninth. The ninth? Okay, yeah, we were discussing with yeah. Marilee Goldman the numbers. So, anyway, we've got a female mayor, super exciting in a year like 2017. What is your favorite thing about Beverly Hills? The people. I don't even have to think about it. It's the people. They're all about heart. They're all about family. You feel like it's an extended family. And it's world famous city, but it also has a small, small town homey feel. That's the best part of our city. It's the people. We just have a sense of connectedness. How about I want you? to thank Lily, without whom we wouldn't be having this wonderful event. She's such a supporter of our community that all of us in the community want to do wonderful things for her. Of course, I couldn't let this go by without interviewing the man who brought us all here, Phil Savinick, who directed and produced I did. 100, Beverly Hills 100 Years, 100 Stories, and is the president of the Historical Society. So, Phil, how long have you been a Beverly Hills resident? My family's been here over 60 years. My dad, Benjamin Norton, was a mayor. My mom, Rose Norton, was a planning commissioner. And those were two of the most boring jobs I had ever seen. So I thought, well, I have to do something for my community. Well, I'm a filmmaker. I just better make a film. 
And my thought was that really a film about us had to be made by us and told by us because otherwise the world would think that we're only three blocks of Rodeo and we obviously know better. What do you miss most from like old Beverly Hills? I think what I miss most it was that we were a community, but I don't really miss it during Mayor Bossy's term because she turns us back into a community. The other day we went bike riding with the mayor and I turned to her and I said, this is just like meeting up with a bunch of kids on the schoolyard and going for a bike ride. I said, what you have done to this community is just remarkable. So the thing, I'm gonna say, okay, I miss going to the Luau or I miss going to Dolores's or I miss the fact that you could leave your bike by the movie theater and when you came out, it was still there. But really, I missed a sense of community and it's back. And that's why I'm so proud to have this be part of our community activities because it just gives us a sense of who we are, who we were and where we're going. Well, we're getting ready to start the film inside. So this is my time to sign off. Once again, I am Victoria Gordon, and this is Beverly Hills 100 Years, 100 Stories.